checking the engines, backs in the green, amps look good. All pressures in the green, temps are in the green. Ready to fly? Move. Are ready? Yep. Sure. Madison says no. 65, they put one departing on one step, Madison. Yeah. Peter off the brakes. Bottle four. Airspeed's coming alive. We're at 40 knots. 50 knots. 55 knots. Got enough back in the back there. Here we go. These are up the ground. Let's trim forward. Line that 70 knots. Hands off. Right rudder a little. Boy, that feels like golf on those high from back here. Does it? Yeah. yeah I'm always They're up. very different. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Madison traffic, Madison traffic, Cessna 5009 Hotel, left now, wind 17, Madison traffic. I feel the weight difference, that's for sure. Yeah. It's going to turn forward big time. Yeah, it feels more like a uh, 33 nose up. Because <laughs> remember, the back seat sits a little bit lower as it is. Oh, so. I know, especially on the climb. Yeah. Madison. 8 for 1, turn across 1, depart in Madison, Northeast Madison. Airspeed looks great, 75 knot climb. We'll stay on frequency for just to try clear the uh, crosswind. Get up to about 1300 and then we'll switch over to Jackson. Over to Jackson right now. Brand Jackson approach, says no 65, 841 out of Madison, climbing through 1,200, headed for the northeast practice area. 65841, Jackson approach, good morning, Jackson altimeter 3007, one able squawk, 0141. 0141, 3007 on the altimeter. You got that in, it's on ALT. I got caught before and that one's like, oops. Yeah, nice climb, Ray. We're going to go between two and 3,000 for now, just to play. Now we're cleared into Charlie. He identified us by tail number. This is Nate for one. You're at our contact two miles east of the Madison Airport. Maintain VFR as requested. Showing you leaving 1,700. Leaving 1,700, correct. Uh, maintain VFR. A point. It was a cruise checklist here. Jack and approach, Jack and approach, two kilo mic. Two kilo approach. Two kilo mic, uh, we'll be working on ground reference whenever, so you uh, might lose some radar. Two kilo mic. So it's 8 traffic, total clock, three miles, another step to 2,500, right there. 8 one with the traffic, we'll go ahead and climb to 3,500, 8 one Two kilo mic, Jack, total clock, two miles, left down, set to 3,000, vehicle. All the instruments look good, fuel's still nice and full. Hawkins Field, Fly 32, Mississippi. Weather observation 1353 Zulu. Wind 180 at 08. Visibility 10. Okay, Alright, so we'll go ahead and start briefing this beast here. Field elevation on this is 341. I've got the ILS 16. Uh, course is 159. Glide slope intercept will be 1,900. Missed minimums for over there at Hawkins will be. 541, NAV1, we've got set, 11.7, NAV2, 11.7, that's set, COM1, we've got 23.9, we've got to get the backup of uh, tower, 119.65, radios are all set. Chopless 3964, Memphis Center, 132.5, have a good day. 32.5, Alright, so I got the approach brief. Approach 841, request brief. I will approach over to Hawkins and then return back to the practice area, please. Just thank for one, uh, Ranger Mate Navy, far finding of 260, Vector Silas, 160. 260, maintain BFR, 841. Thank for one on climb out at Hawkins, fly row heading, maintain BFR. Roll by heading, maintain BFR, 841. Just thank for one, turn left heading, 250. 250, 841. Seatbelts update, fuels both, door landing checklist, no mixture. Mixture's good. Fuel boost, we don't have to worry about. There is no fuel boost in this, no carburetor heat. 
Harbor set to zero. First launch flaps go in. So Cipher 1 is uh, 6 miles north of Brands, turn left heading 1, then R0, maintain 2000 until established localizer, cleared ILS from 16 Hawkins. 1 R0, cleared ILS 16 Hawkins. Keep going. Airspeed's a little low, so now we got to watch the needles. Start an intercept, going miles. That's March 1449 with your back in 1.7 for 5000. So 1449 there. Departure ready, contact, yeah. cross the intercept. Turn left direct Meridian. Yeah. Up to 10,000, left turn direct to Meridian, up 1449. 1,900. Okay, we're just touch low on the airspeed. Pitch for that. Up 1449, contact Memphis, 125.97. Good day. Okay. That was 2597, Delta 1449. Good day. Okay, 99 looks good. 1,900 looks good. 907, 678. We're having some electrical problems. Going to be out of communication for just a moment. 678, Roger. 1,900, airspeed's right on, a little high, two knots high, there we go. Localized slope, not expected yet. Should it be a localizer approach? We'll go minimums down to 500, which is 760, ILS is a 540. Uh, approach 907678, back with you. Okay, Six sorry. Increasing it, that's going to be about 30 degree correction. Cut to the one, contact Hawkins, 119.65. 119.65, 84. Good morning, Hawkins Tower, Cessna 65841, approximately two and a half miles outside Brent's. Hey, how are you? Cessna 65841, Hawkins Tower, Roger, report Brent's, wind 1608, altimeter 3006. 3006, we'll report Brent's, 841. Let's see, Markham, turn that on. Now, if you want to have some fun, ask her if she took the dog home last night. There's a dog sitting out there on the runway on one, uh, 1129 last night, and uh, the guy that was with me asked her if she's going to take it home. Okay. <laughs> All right, for one. Same for one good. How yeah, about passenger A says he took the dog home last night? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> April 1. Okay, what are we doing? I've trying? already done that too many times. <laughs> April 1. Tower April 1, we're pointing branch. Cessna April 1, Roger. We're runway 16, wind 1608, clear for the option. Clear 16, clear for the option. April 1. Alright, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Start my 90 knot descent rate, 500 feet. Spot on the localizer, inside the donut. Okay, correct us in touch. Airspeed looks good, a little low. Keeping it way in there. Just a little low on the glide slope. A little bit of power here. 900 for 541. Loaded to center rail. Okay, re-intercept that glide slope. There it comes. 900 for 541. Okay, tracking looks good, one degree. It can't get much better than that. Okay, touch the power here. Okay, let's load back in. Localizer spot on. 800 for 541. Scanning. Airspeed just touched low. Okay, airspeed looks good, 90 knots. 700 for 541. Come back a little bit on the power here. These are high. A little windier on the surface. 600 for 541. Go ahead and cheat. Good. Area minimums. No middle marker. Looking around. Air speed looks good. Air speed looks good. Not on fast. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Flaps go up. Off we go. It's a little flat, but it worked. Try to do better back in Madison. Alright, I'm happy. That was uh, better than I expected. Alright. Cessna 841, contact Jackson, departure. Contact departure, 841. Good morning. Good Let's get the weather real quick. Weather observation. One, four. Five five Zulu weather wind one seven zero at seven gust one four wind variable and speed one three zero and one niner zero visibility one zero. That's it. Says no six five eight four one approximately five miles to the north of Question Five. Aircraft call master for your seventy seven zero support. Eight four one. Thank you. Okay, get the folks. They're uh, ground speed 89 knots, air speed 120. Bring it back just a touch, trim this up a little.
All right, four landing checklist here. Let's get that going. Right, now, how much to it? Landing. Airspeed will be 70 knots. Just 70 knots. We're going to keep the flaps up for a gust factor. Maybe 10 degrees, maybe 20. Depends on how it feels. 65 will be the touchdown speed for landing, of course. Everybody's got their seat belts on. Fuel selector is on both. Double check it. Make sure it's going to full rich. It's good there. 1300 is pattern up. Madison, 8 for 1. 45 for downwind for 17 Madison. Madison, 8 for 1. Turning downwind for 17 Madison. Full stop. Madison, 8 for 1. Base for 17 Madison. Madison, 8 for 1. Turn final for 17. Full stop, Madison. Not yet. Stable. I'm going to dump a little bit more altitude because we've got our ground speed's probably crawling right now. 66 knots. I'll have to Okay. Airspeed looks good. Nice sync break. 